Hello, my name is Isaiah, and this is a part two of setting up folding at home. This one's covering cryptocurrency and how uh, it can be used in conjunction with folding. So, in my first video, it was quite quick. All it did is just cover folding, how to fold, nothing really special. Um, this one covers kind of the quirks of setting up uh, cryptocurrency for folding. So, the first project to do this was. Uh, folding coins a few years ago and basically for every million uh, hash or uh, sorry a million points you got for folding you would get X amount of coins back it's gotten down to about 200 coins for every million uh, folding points so that's kind of where it's uh, at right now so you can go ahead and if you type in uh, folding coin on Google, the first link should be foldingcoin.net. They have a tutorial, basically what I'm covering today, how to actually set up your 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 project for folding. So this was just a basic I did in the last video. I set it so it's just two video cards. I'm just folding under a number name, folding for Overclockers Club team, and nothing else. So first you want to do is you want to head over to get your free wallet which will be included in the link here for tutorials but I'm already here I have one set up I'll show you how to create one basically this is the way you get your folding coins there's no real other way to save your folding coins there's no offline wallets there's no paper wallets there's none of that kind of stuff uh, you really have to send your coins to one place it does use a Bitcoin address so if you happened to send your folding coins to a Bitcoin address or vice versa, those coins will be lost forever. So, you create a new wallet. It gives you a phrase. Don't worry, I'm never going to use this one, so I don't care. I written down this. You want to make sure you have this written down because that's the only way to get back into your wallet. So I'll just copy it since, you know, I need to. I've written this down, blah, blah. And uh, you can do the URL. I haven't gotten that to work, so I'm skipping it. And now you're ready to use your passphrase. So if I want to get into this wallet I just created, I type in that 12-word passphrase, and I hit open, and I accept the terms, and off we go. We have an empty account, and this is my address. Oops, these pop apart now. This is my address right here, and that's what you need. So I actually have a account that's been using for quite some time this is my address this is how much balance I have which is really not much at all because I haven't done it in a while at least on this account um, so what you want to do is apply that to your username so let's go ahead and take I'll take the one I'm using already so let me ahead and go take this and copy it and so when you're clicking on your name and identity you have to do underscore and then all which means you can accept all coins that they give out sometimes they give out coins that are not folding coins they give out some other weird ones like I have LTB coin I can't use it anywhere but they gave it out if you use a different underscore you'll have a similar result so and I type in my address and I'm good to go I don't have to change anything else your pass key uh, contrary to belief, you can use your pass key with any username. You don't have to change your pass key every time you get a new username. I didn't, made that mistake the first time around. Now I'm good to go. I'm still folding for Overclockers Club, and I can save it. Now part two of this would be setting up for other projects like Cure Coins or Medic Coin, which I have listed. Uh, same premise. So Cure Coin can actually use can do both. Cure coin, you can give it cure coins and you can get folding coins at the same time. Meta coin, you have to completely go to them. So under cure coin, if you Google cure coin, you can find out their webpage. You will want the wallet if you want to get coins because by default it's just going to kind of sit somewhere. They also have good tutorials on how to do this. So to actually redeem uh, your coins or to even participate in that project is you have to go to folding. And you have to go to folding pool, which pulls up the official 
Kirkcoin folding pool, which has giant letters on top. Uh, I'm already logged in. So if I were to log out, but I'll do that in a second, but if I were to log out, I can show you how to log in. But uh, under here, it shows you how many current coins you owned in the last 24 hours, how much you have. Uh, when you want to send your coins to a exchange or into your actual wallet, you can go to account details and add a payment address. The payment address will be your Curecoin wallet address. Save your settings, good to go. Now, if you were to log out, you are going to see this. So what you want to do is register and you want to fill out all this information and you're good to go. Now, the one thing to remember here is that your folding name address uh, can't have extra underscores. So if your username on the internet is something like I am, am awesome, that's not going to work because any underscores will mess up the algorithm. So your username has to be without underscores. So you can do any letters you want, underscore as I explained before, all, and then your folding address. The reason for your folding address is to get uh, the cure coin. So my folding address, as I covered before, is right here. If you didn't have that folding address, you can actually just have a folding name and just receive cure coins without folding coins. But there's no point of just doing one or the other. You might as well do both at the same time. The last thing to note on this is you have to make sure you're on their team. So I actually have it here. Curecoin team is 224497. So if I were to take that and drop it into here, now I'm getting points. I'm getting uh, folding coins and I'm getting cure coins because I'm folding for their team and not the team I was on before. So the only real downside here is that if you do cure coins, you have to fold on their team. If you don't care about cure coins and you just want folding coins, you can do any team you want. All right, so for the final piece here is uh, Medic Coin. Uh, unfortunately, this coin currently, as I'm talking about this video right now, does not have the ability to integrate with folding coins or cure coins. It's Medic Coin, it's by itself. You have to use a different address and a different team, so there's no way to. Uh, acquire folding coins and cure coins and medic coins at the same time but really the whole point of any of these coins is to give you a little bit back for your folding abilities uh, one month you might be able to pay for power the next month you might not be able to really it's just uh, a little extra so if you're going to fold anyways you might as well receive some coins while you're at it so for them what you want to do is make sure you download their wallet and that will have an address on it and then for folding itself they do have a tutorial right here but basically you take your address which I have mine right here and then you take your team which is their team right here and you input it and that would be it so I already have the my address here which is your user ID they like I said they don't have the same as folding coins or cure coins so you have to use their address from your wallet and put their team and hit save and now you're folding for them if I click on it it should pull up MetaCoin. alright so that's the basics of folding at home with cryptocurrency it's pretty straightforward you grab there's three coins option right now there's folding coins there's cure coins and there's medic coin all three have their own benefits uh, they all have different goals but in the end they're all just trying to give you coins for folding they're not taking away from folding you still fold exactly the same as you were uh, without being on a team the difference is you get coins for doing what you're going to do before so anyways thanks for watching if you like this video please uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this